time, I'm Davide Moro and I'm gonna talk about top code CMS security and workflows. Coti is uh, uh, with Coti you can create users, groups, assign them roles. You can create new uh, roles. You can assign uh, site level roles, so global roles, or uh, for example assigning uh, um, uh, local uh, role. For example, uh, granting uh, to a user the editor role on, only to uh, some section of your site. Um, Coti is uh, shipped by default with free content types, the document that is also a folderish one, folderish type, file and images. The document is bound to uh, the Coti's default workflow. Uh, while file and images are not bound to any workflow, so um, once you add them, uh, they will be uh, already uh, viewable by anonymous users. Obviously, you can add other content types installing, installing uh, third-party plugins. And uh, in this video, we are going to um, show how to create a new content type, a, new, a pretend content type, with a custom workflow definition. So, uh, leave the document with uh, its workflow, standard workflow definition, and create a new content type with a different workflow. So, let's start. We are going to create a new plugin using the, scaf the um, scaffolding tool provided, provided by Pyramid. Because Pyramid uh, code is built upon Pyramid. We're going to create a Coty plugin named Coty Workflow. Okay. Let's run the develop. And now we have to activate our new plugin to our Coty instance. It's quite simple, it requires all, only um, configuration change to our INI file. Okay, let's restart and load the page and let's see if there is another okay, another item in the, the add drop down menu. So we have a, a new custom content because the uh, Coty um, scaffolding tool will um, uh, create a pretend a new pretend content type. You can you can edit and extend it. So let's go here and uh, let's create a new workflow definition. The simplest way is uh, uh, copying and modifying the uh, Coty's standard workflow and change it. So The workflow definition is just an XML file, DCML. Okay, so let's change it. And uh, yes, why not? We are going to create a new workflow with a change of name, custom, uh, a monostate workflow with only private and uh, so no public state no transitions so uh, our contents uh, will be private by default without any transition to the public state okay uh, as you can see uh, on the state uh, definition there is a matrix of uh, 
roles and the permissions. And now we have to change the uh, workflow assignation. So we have to provide a new um, interface. Copy workflow interfaces e custom config instead of uh, a default workflow. So the, the scaffold. Um, um, didn't create uh, this marker interface, so we are going to add the interfaces.pi module, and it's quite simple as we can see. So let's create the interfaces.pi. resources.pi is the model where models lives. We have to remove the e default workflow with uh, replacing with uh, our mark interfaces. Mark interface. Content. So we have changed the, the model. We have created the new workflow definition. Now we have to register it, loading the CCML file. And we can do that on our configuration file, adding just one line. So the new setting is named copy.gcml includes. Okay, so uh, this is a new content type with no contents, so it's uh, we can uh, we can just restart the server. Uh, if you change workflows, uh, work workflow settings, you have uh, sometimes you have to to um, call the reset workflow utility provided by Conti but uh, now it's not needed. So uh, let's restart. Okay, let's create a new custom content. It's a pretend content type with uh, a couple of fields. And as you can see, there is no mm, workflow top down. So if we log out, uh, this uh, resource should not be visible anymore. Okay, it worked. Thank you. Bye.